Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am not going to discuss some very complicated concept related to snowflake. Rather, I am going to discuss one very frequently asked interview question related to snowflake profile or rather I can say in any database or data engineering profile, this is a very important question, okay? That is, what does union do and what is the difference between union and union, okay? So I hope you know that union is basically part of set operation in SQL widely used in Spark also we use this particular operation widely. So, so in simple words we can say that union merges the content of two structurally compatible tables into one single combined table, right? That is two different tables, same kind of structure, their data types are same, okay? That is structurally they are compatible that time if you want to combine and make a single tab table in the result set then you can go ahead with union okay and the major difference between union and union all is union will omit the duplicate records okay while combining two different tables if there are duplicate records union will try to remove those okay but union all will include the duplicate records okay so suppose you are having very big big tables okay and then you want to combine them kind of vertically you want to stack them and create a single combined table that time if you are using union then as it try to remove the duplicate obviously it will be more time consuming than union all because union all will simply do vertical stacking it will not it remove the duplicate but in case of union that extra computation is coming in the picture right so union is generally more resource computing stuff okay anyway so now what i will do i will show you some simple demo like for first example, select 3 union, select 4, okay. So you can see both are string type column, so you can combine them easily because they are structurally compatible and you are getting this particular output as 3, 4, okay, right. Then if you are applying union all, you are going to get the same result, 3, 4, because they are already distinct elements, so no difference in between union and union all. But you will find the difference when you will try to stack same data, okay, see, select 5 union select 5 so this time only one 5 will be coming because we are using union so it is removing the duplicates okay but suppose we are using union all in the same query then 2 times 5 will be printed okay so it is not removing the duplicates right so this is the major difference between union and union all i hope you are getting that right and then another stuff which is important generally we think that union concept we apply to combine two structurally compatible tables okay but it is not like only two you can do vertical stacking three four five in number of tables okay like for example select one union select two union select three then you will be getting one two three as outcome because they all are distinct you will be getting perfect result okay so don't think only two tables you can combine which is having same structure in union you can combine more than two tables as well like vertical stacking like this way okay now coming to one interesting question. So what will be outcome of this query? Select one, union select one, union all select one. Okay. So pause this video and try to think about the correct answer here I am explaining. Okay. So how the query will be executed? So first this part will be executed select one, union select one. So because union generally remove the duplicate. So this complete thing will return only one single one. Okay. And then when you are doing union all with, with another one. So union all generally don't remove the duplicate. So from this particular set one one is coming and here also one one is there. So basically two ones will be printed in the output. Okay. So if I run see one one we are getting. But suppose you are changing the position of union and union all if you interchange and if you just make this kind of thing where union all you are applying first and then you are taking union what will be the result? Basically union all will basically combine these to one and it will not remove the duplicate so basically this particular query will return two ones and here already with another one we are trying to do union but union remove the duplicate so from the upper part same data is coming in the lower part also same so only one time one will be printed okay so if you execute that see only one time one we are getting right so these are some interesting questions which can be asked around the union and union all concept to confuse you right 
So just remember this concept that both are same, only difference is union basically omit the duplicate. That's why it takes some more time because duplicate record removal obviously needs some more computation. But union all is kind of faster. But as it is faster, so obviously we have to pay for that, right? Advantage will come with some disadvantage. So what is the disadvantage in union all? Although it is faster, but it cannot remove the duplicate records. Okay, right? So that's pretty much it. This is what I wanted to discuss. If you enjoyed this particular video, then please like, share and comment, subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.